Welcome to Ballistic High Speed, where we combine two of the greatest things on planet Earth. Super slow motion. And firearms and firearm physics. I'm Adam. I'm Bryce. Join us on our journey for Ballistic High Speed. Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. This is a follow-up to our previous episode where we shot a miniature six-hour P220. Uh, what are we shooting today? Today we have a Desert Eagle, which is a 50 AE. Uh, it has a significant size advantage over our little friend here. This is going to fire the same projectile as that P220, the little two millimeter. We have some ballistic gel that we will see the effect of a 50 AE hollow point, which I'm excited for that Devastating. in and of itself. Yeah. And then we're going to put it next to its little brother from Miniature Army the 50 miniature gun. Yeah, so little baby Desert Eagle. Yeah, which yeah. is not something, those aren't usually said in the same sentence. Right, yeah, <laughs> so, so uh, just like the last episode, we've got some more fun targets here, like the little baby watermelon sodas, apples, things like that, mostly just for the gratuitous slow-mo. And I think it's gonna be exactly the same muzzle velocity for the miniature gun, but again, we've got some graph paper yes. out. We'll calculate it, uh, figure out exactly what it is. Should make for a really fun episode. I think and, so. uh, uh, this begs the question, what else do you want to see shot with a Desert Eagle? So, it should be just like that 220. It's sort of like a breech load, isn't it? Putting it in the back like that? Yeah. And then, I am not a surgeon. Alright, yeah. smoother than the last one. Yeah, so, this is now a, a hot project. A loaded, not gun. Yeah, look at that little guy. That's so cute. I can't wait to see the side-by-side -side when we right. bring in the real guy. All righty, let's shoot it. Let's do it. All right, this is going to be the baby desert eagle against the gel block with our graph paper so we can figure out what this guy's shooting. In three, two, one. All right, shots away. I think this is him right here. Yeah, because the sig was kind of going away. Right. Yeah. That's it. Roughly half an inch again, I would imagine. You pull it out very easily. But yeah, it's like the same. It's kind of where this taper starts yeah. to go away. Okay. Well, cool. I imagine the high speed is going to look identical, but... So they must be the same cartridge and everything. They just yeah. look different. Okay. But there was only one way to find out. Let's so. see the high speed. Let's do it. It's the same ammunition, a slightly different barrel length maybe, maybe. but it should be exactly the same. But uh, let's see what happens. There it goes. Yep. Again, like the last episode, looks just like a black powder musket type yep. gun with a, with a it sphere coming It does get a little out. bit coming out of the back here. Oh, it does. That gel like hardly even moves. It's like it's like what happened. <laughs> We're used to seeing it like whole cavitations and collapsing and yeah. I'm curious if that difference in barrel length affects the velocity at all or what it does. Okay, well, let's bring out some other targets. Um, but I mean, what we're really here for is for the actual Desert Eagle. Yes. So yeah. let's, uh, let's we'll work our way towards that. We'll get there. All right, all let's right. do it. Let's do it. So compared to the P220 in the last video, much bigger gun and bigger bullet. Much bigger bullet. This is a 50 Action Express. Yeah. All right, let's load the sucker up. Oh, it's so meaty. Yeah. <laughs> Good you really Lord. gotta handle it. <laughs> All right, well, let's send it into some gel and see what happens. I cannot wait. I think it's gonna eviscerate it. I've never shot one before. My hands are cold. It's probably gonna hurt. All right, this is going to be the Desert Eagle 50 AE hollow point into the ballistic gel block. <sighs> Weapon is hot. High speed's ready. Yep. In three, two, one. Holy smoke! Good lord! <laughs> Weapon that, is that clear. That sucker kicked. I'll admit, I thought it was going to go through. I kind of did too. And we it, forgot to make predictions. It's got a couple inches left to go. Yeah. I mean, it made it a little bit further than the 45. Yeah, I jumped off the one. table for sure. And then, but much more devastation. Oh yeah. 
on the way there. That's such a cool shot. Yeah. You say this jumped off the table. I yeah. wouldn't doubt it because that thing, I mean, it, it hammered right. back in my hand. Yeah, it's, that it's, is. It's technically a 50 caliber, right? Yeah. That's a lot of power. I mean, it's no BMG, right. but that's still a lot, man. And it was cruising through that. That's cool. Like, that's such a perfectly centered shot all the way down. Sweet. Well, I think the high speed is going to be even more interesting than the P220 was in the last video. It has to be. I mean, that's a straight hole. They usually close back up, but that is... Oh, wow. It's still open. <laughs> yeah, right there. Let's do some high speed. Got that, out. He like got out because you kind of brought that up in the 220 video. Yeah. Like how much it gets. Well, this actually came in. outside of the entire block, almost yeah, probably yeah. two inches, and then pulled it back in another two inches. Wow! Look at that. What's going on in there? That's so dynamic. All that like light refraction through the gel material. It's like the old school Windows Media Player. I know what you're talking it had about. Like all the crazy, all those weird visualizations. Yeah. So okay. much more power in that, that Action Express. That gives me a lot more interest in what this is actually going to do to like the watermelon, the apple. Oh yeah, like that. Because I was expecting like yeah, it's you know a 45 on steroids. That is something entirely different. All right, this is the Baby Desert Eagle versus the Soda Can. In three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> a little high, is it in frame? Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're so sacrificial for this channel. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. Did you see how the smoke was aiming kind of downward, like in the last shot? But then the pellet, he came up. the bullet went more horizontally, like straight across. See that? Huh. <laughs> right near that caffeine free. Man, that aluminum. Oh, there's really, still vibrations really going. Waving. I'm curious what's going to happen with the soda can. I feel like it's just going to vaporize it. That's so much energy. Yeah, see the 45 kind of peeled it apart. Yeah. I think this one's going to peel it apart, but with... Plus tax. <laughs> <laughs> Angrily. Okay, let's go shoot it. Okay. All right, it's going to be the 50 AE versus soda can. Weapons hot. In three, two, one. <laughs> it blew it in half. Did you see that? Look at the very beginning. Is that fire? It's something. What is going on? It's like a lot Holy. of it. We've seen little teeny look at ones. That. That's like a whole. Like if you if you took that shot, turned it sideways, it would look like a little explosion. Look at that. Is that the aluminum vaporizing or is that just soda vapor igniting? What do you think? The aluminum maybe? I don't know. Because I do know if you try to, if you put molten aluminum in water, it explodes. Gotcha. Like so maybe cutting. the heat from the bullet mixed with the vapor mixed with the aluminum, just it's the right parts per million know. of everything. That's, That's crazy. It only lasts like a millisecond. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's throw some fruit and stuff on there and yeah. see what happens. Let's do it. I'm excited for that now. All right, cool. All righty, this is going to be the 50 AE versus an apple. Good grief. High speed's ready. Let's see if I can hit this thing. Weapon is hot. In three, two, one. Man, that thing kicks. Camera's definitely got whacked with the apple. <laughs> The skin, all the skin chunks are smaller. That's how you know yeah. there was more power. <laughs> yeah. And this this round is going noticeably faster than the 45 as well. well you can see it's out the other side before it. Oh, true. It goes to the left and the right limits. Wow. That's disruptive. That yeah. And no need to shoot the mini into the apple because we know what's going to happen. Yeah. I kind of questioned if the 45 could do it to the watermelon in the last video. No doubt. No doubt. It's going to just yeah. pop that watermelon apart. Still excited to see it though. Oh yeah. Let's go shoot it. Let's do it. This is going to be the 50 AE versus watermelon. Weapon's hot. High speed's good. Yep. High speed's ready. Okay. In three, two, one. <laughs> that went absolutely everywhere. What was that sound? It hit the barn. That looks just like the shotgun slug going through the watermelon. It yes. It, it seems like it's carrying almost that much energy. That's nuts. And before you know it, the whole screen is gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a good slow-mo shot though. Yes. That's a good high-speed shot. That, that front entry, how much stuff went oh, yeah. backwards that fast. Which ended up all over you. Yes. <laughs> it's All right, well, I'm happy with the Desert Eagle. Yeah, that thing's sweet. Yeah. I'm Mostly. imagining the comments are going to go in the way of that needs to be on torsos and yeah. ballistic dummy things. We'll find out. It's we'll me. It. I'm the comments that we need to okay. shoot. <laughs> we need to I shoot agree. a torso. <laughs> okay. Well, it goes without saying. I think that was a uh, even better episode than the last one. Yeah, I, I want one of these. You want one? I want one. Well, let's just buy one. Okay. Let's get a, well, you do Cerakoting and stuff, so let's I do, do like, a, like a ballistic high-speed design on it or something. I think we it'd could. be pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, 50 Action Express. Excuse me? <laughs> I was looking up design managers. Not now! <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's technically a 50 caliber. Um, as we said before, it's it's no 50 BMG, but uh, now that we have access to one of these, what do you want to see get shot with it? We feel like we're going to get ballistic torsos and ballistic heads and things like that, but... I know we're going to get those because I'm just going to go ahead and recommend. Um, let's just go ahead and do that. By default. By we'll default, do we'll yeah. do that. But what else should we shoot with it? Um, probably different types of armor to see what it could penetrate. That'd be cool. Uh, those kind of things. I don't know. There's so many things we could do. So drop some comments. If you agree with what someone else has said, just upvote their comment. Um, yep. We'll see who's got the best ideas out there. And we'll just shoot some stuff and film some high speed. As always, follow us on social medias. Yep. And we definitely see the Patreon comments for requests yep. first. So yep. if you head on over to there, you, not only do you get to see the videos two days early, but we will see your comments personally requesting what you would like to see in the future. Yep, and head over to miniaturearmy.com. Yep. That's where they've got all these really interesting pieces. Um, they, they have more than just the guns that we've shot in the last yep. two episodes. So go over there, check it out, and get one for yourself, even if you just put it on your desk, because it looks really cool. It does look cool. It does. All right, 
Thanks for watching. Feel free to support us on Patreon, like he said, and we'll see you in the next episode.